Decorators. Oops, turn this on. So decorators. Decorators are useful. Decorators are easy to implement. Or are they? <laughs> so decorators. Uh, basically, it's using uh, the at syntax there on the second function. Um, easy to construct a decor, supposedly, by you creating another function which has an inner uh, closure function. So most people would know about how to do that, and they think it's all well and good, but that breaks introspec introspection. Okay? Name and doc attributes are not preserved, so if you're going to start using help on doc strings, it doesn't work. Doesn't func tools wrap s help this? No, it doesn't solve all the problems. Now, it gets very complicated as to why, and I'm definitely not going to go into this. I have killed people by doing a talk on this topic before. Um, so all the details is covered on my blog. There's a series of about 12 posts on this. Like Most people do an introductory decorated talk. Great, they have one little blog post this. I've got a dozen of them, okay? Uh, lots of traps. So please don't implement decorators yourself, okay? What is the solution? Use wrapped, okay? It's not much different. You're providing a function which is your wrapper, but you're using a decorator of mine, uh, which is actually I think is even implemented in wrapped, <laughs> um, to actually implement your decorator. You can do some lots of fancy things with this that you can't get out of normal decorators. Now, one of the big problems in decorators is that you, it's very hard to write one decorator which can be applied to both a normal function and a member function of a class. Okay. Wrapped allows that. There is ways in it that you can tell if your wrapper is being, has been applied to a normal function, a method of a class, a class method, uh, or a, what's the other one? Static? Static method. Um, or no, function static method. Or no, it's a class itself. There's a lot of magic going on. So if you don't trust me, why would you use it? I keep getting pestered to have wrap rolled into the standard library. Okay, so I have people who, who in the core contributors for Python who think it's really good. So it must be awesome. You can find all docs, uh, or what docs there is, up on uh, Read the Docs. Um, there should be lots and lots more because it's, it's more than just a decorator library. It's a whole lot, to do with, whole lot of stuff in there to do with monkey patching as well, which is actually the original reason I created it. And if you're lucky, this is currently my fourth trip to Singapore this year, but I'm back here again in a few weeks' time. And I've been talking to Martin about a uh, possible talk. So if we can get a meetup group happening, please come along if you're interested in, in this. I think it was the 19th is the only day I'll be able to do it. So if things come together, that's when it would be, which is, I think, a Tuesday. Okay, thank you. <laughs>